Hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, this here is a Walbro off of a McCulloch 310. That's all right there. So, let's get into it and rebuild it. Check out the book that's uh, down below. Please and thank you. Uh, click on the link, it'll take you to Amazon. And that is a book that uh, one of my family members did. Oh, wow. Well, pretty crusty. Not a wonder it didn't run. Um... No, I don't have a pick over here, but I got a dremel tool. That worked. <laughs> Hopefully I got a new screen in the uh, set. Now it's uh, organized here. Okay. I gotta get everything right. You know. Get in there. Magnetic screwdrivers. It's not a magnetic screwdriver, but it's been on a magnetic strip for a long time, so it's kind of magnetic. Yep. Yeah, that, that's not going to pump anything. Crunchy. Crunchy. Oh, wow. This is the first carburetor I've ever seen that in. Shocking. Well, no. I've seen it in another saw. I don't remember what saw that was. Poland? I think it was a Poland I saw that in. Maybe it was the uh, McCulloch 610. I don't remember. Needle don't look that bad. Okay. I need a Phillips for that. I don't know if I got one over here. Well, I kind of got one. Let's uh, see if this works. Yeah, it'll work. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. Nope. Okay. Um. Sharpie, sharpie, sharpie. An hour. Alright, so. Let's go. Ah. Uh, L. H.
track. Go ahead and take some. Uh, do I have carb cleaner? Yes, I do. That's better than brake cleaner. Carb and manifold cleaner. Okay. Take some of that and just, you know, spray it in all the ports. I'm not going to do it over the table because it'll make a royal mess. So let's see if this will. Hi there, Pepper. Kill move. Where I can just gently make her move. Come on. Shh. Okay, I think that's it. Hopefully that was all on camera. Okay, now I'm just going to spray some compressed air through it at about, I don't know, 15 PSI. Okay, there's that part clean. Go ahead and spray that off. I want to do that on the bench. Okay. Okay, so there's a tiny little hole right there. So that needs to be clear. And now it is, okay. Ooh, that stuff's cold. Spray these off. I just like wiping them like that against paper towel. Usually clean them up good enough. Okay. Now it's time to reassemble. Did I spray down those? I, I don't know. Now I did. You know what? There's some more gunk that came out with that. There we go. Okay. It's all clean. Air. Don't need that on. Okay. 
ครับหายนอนเชิญโอเคแล้ว so I'm going to put these all the way in until they see and don't reef these down just barely tighten them is that even in frame barely okay now it is okay so now what I'm gonna do is go One full turn out, and about that much, just a bit. Okay, and that is our starting point. Okay, so I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, guys. So I just looked at my parts I got. Yeah, they're the wrong parts. So. We're going to put it back together with the old parts for now, just to show you guys how to do it. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't got much to say about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, that goes together like this. Which goes right over that hole. Now I don't agree with putting the old parts in there. Especially since they're dirty and they're not very good. I won't be running the saw on them. I'll have to get different parts. I'm not even going to tighten up this stuff. But I don't want to lose my stuff either. So... I might as well put it all back together. So I'm going to have to wait like, I don't know, probably a week. Probably about three weeks, I'd say, probably. To get the, uh, all the parts together. And my spring popped out. Tiny parts, I tell ya. Is there a way of propping that? Kinda. Come on, key to the bush, don't fail me now. There we go. Key to the bush saves me again. Yes. Okay, screw in. I only have two hands. And a magnetic screwdriver that is not helping me. <sighs> Come on. Yes. Okay. So this here, now, I don't remember if I have a card for that, but basically what you're going to want to do is take something flat. Now I know this ain't flat, but go like that and make sure that um, this here is basically flush with that. Now this, it needs to be like just barely below because it's recessed in. So it needs to actually be flush with inside, I think. 
So I have a card somewhere around here that is flush on the outside. But it's exactly the same depth inside that I can just set in there. And then it's perfect. But that doesn't matter for right now since so I'm just putting it back together. So. This here goes down first. Gasket first. Diagram. Or diagram. <laughs> uh, diaphragm last. Cover. Doesn't matter which way you put it. And then of course your screws. Get at least a couple of those tighter. Okay, and on this side, it's completely opposite. Let's see if I can get this off without breaking it. Yep, I did. Okay, so. This part there that's flexible goes on first. Yeah, flip it. Yeah. Right. Then the gasket. Oh yeah, and you know, don't forget your screen that goes inside there. Uh, use a drill bit or a Sharpie pencil, something uh, blunt, like the back of that, to go ahead and push your screen in, because that's about the right size. And I'm not going to put, no, I might as well put that back in there, but. I don't really want to put that back in there, but just kind of stuff it in there. Make sure it's straight and everything. I don't really care about that this time since I'm going to take it back apart anyway. And then you put your cover on. Your screw. And you should be off to the races. Throw back on the saw, tune up your high and low jets, these guys right here. Uh, look at some other YouTubers like uh, Buck and Billy Ray or uh, Tin Man Saw Shop and there's, there's some others. Um, they do a pretty good job on tutorial on how to tune your chainsaw and everything so I recommend them to go and watch. Uh, a tuning video from them or you could take it to your local shop and get it tuned uh, they'll do it pretty cheap but that is exactly how to clean up a carb and put on in a kit really simple you can do it at home or anywhere uh, if your cover breaks, just glue it, or, uh, maybe, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, put, like, some of those little wavy metal, uh, wire clip thingies, and I don't know what they're called, but, uh, it comes on, like, a little heat gun, and you can pull the trigger, and it heats up red hot, and you can push it into the plastic 
and snip it off with some side cutters or something. That will work pretty well to keep that together. Um, if anybody actually knows what that is, uh, go ahead and jump it down in the comments below and go ahead and tell me because I'd actually help. Um, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and check out the book down below. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.